So I'm sitting here waiting for my ride, uh, getting ready to go to work. For those who don't know, I do have a job. I work landscape construction. It's been a real busy early season for landscape construction here in the Denver metro area. My hands hurt, my legs hurt, my arms hurt. It's just, I'm sore, but that's the kind of, that's the kind of work I love doing. Um, I thought I'd put together this video, show you kind of what my life is like while I'm in the city and not out there hiking or camping or traveling or any of that stuff. Get the work truck going and get a trailer, get some rock and start doing our thing. So I finally get the day off and I really don't feel like sitting around. It's really nice weather out today. Um, I can't do a lot of long distance travel. I gotta get my van in to the shop on Monday. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with it right now and it's, it's really rough on the drive. So um, I'm just right down the road from Cherry Creek State Park, which is here in the Denver metro area. Um, and the Centennial Littleton Aurora area something like that. I think it's technically in Aurora, but uh, um, I'm just right down the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a drive down there and 
you know, check it out. It's been a little while since I've been there, since uh, last good weather um, last year. So um, that's kind of my go-to spot, and I have the day free and not much else to do. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little drive down the road and into the state park, and let's go check it out. Annual pass? Yes. How 80, much? $83. Dollars. $83. You guys take card? Yes, we do. Okay, well, let me get an annual pass. Okay. I'll do that for you. Awesome. Yeah. Have a brochure with a map of the of this park. Yes, I appreciate you. you. Okay, thank you. You have a great day. Thank you. All right, so eighty-three dollars local Colorado State Park pass is for the annual pass. And I am now in the park. So when I come in from the south entrance, my go-to spot is you take the first left, going down through the park here. And you see the lake and everything coming up. Then I take my second left. When I take my second left, this takes me down to the wetlands. That's where all the trees are. It's right off the lake. Really beautiful area. You see a lot of deer out here. And, you know, it's, it's a great place to kind of walk around and relax and just, you know, kind of hang out. It's kind of a little bit away from the crowd. Everybody's down at the lake and the beach, stuff like that once they're open. since I've been here but I just pulled into um, one of my normal parking spots here at the wetlands it's a uh, entrance to um, one of the jogging trails and then uh, it kind of takes you out into the trees and along the creek here and really nice area real peaceful usually and I, I like to go off the beaten path and go out into you know some of the little offshoot trails and I'm gonna take you guys out to one of my hangout spots and hope nobody is there So what I like about coming down through the wetlands is um, Cherry Creek has a lot of bike trails that run through the park and out here is off limits to bikes. You're not supposed to bring your bikes out here. Um, but I just come down the path typically and usually in the summertime it's more overgrown so you can't really spot it um, a lot of these right away. But right here is a little offshoot trail. This will take me actually down into the creek area. This is a closed down trail. It's one of the old trails that came through here. Um, and you could tell it's just covered in logs. And if you come, let's see. So I just came down this dirt trail right behind me here. And if you take your first ride, it comes to a dead end. And it's kind of a place that I like to go and relax. It's, it's usually quiet and, you know, sometimes you see some of the wildlife and... Um, it connects back to the main trail that is still open. 
I'm gonna take the main trail and what I'm gonna run across is um, there was a lot of wash wash out off of the creek up here and last time I was here it had dug itself so big that you know it's, it's just wide open out in the out in the creek area but I'm gonna come out here and check it out it's been a while since I've been here like I said Believe it or not, that used to be a tight part of the creek. That is all washed away. Anyway, I'm going to continue. So as usual, when I come out here, there is deer in the area. I'm a little too far away right now to film, but this is a loop and they're in the center. I'm on the far side. So let's get closer and hope not to spook them. I looked around because <laughs> half the time I'm walking around here just not paying attention and I'll turn the tree and it's like there's one six feet away from me it's like eee! don't spook of course they're right on the trail So it turns out that the trail going back, um, connecting to the other side is closed down. There's been a lot of damage to this park since I was here last, um, but there's three deer near me and there's another one further down the trail inside. I'm not going to go there. Um, instead, I'm going to take you to one of my other old spots. It's where I used to park and, and come into the park. but. Uh, what happened is the bridge got washed away, so they closed the trail, but I'm going to go down there anyway. Um, I usually go that way. I know it's fairly safe and, you know, people do it, but yeah, the trail right behind me is closed. It's just temporary. It's, um, I get it. It's a sensitive area. It's a really nice area going back through there, but basically the trail just keeps wrapping around. This used to be the bridge. Not anymore. All right, time to go. I've been coming out here for years and I have never once, never once seen any beaver. But all along the creek, there is all kinds of trees that are chewed up like that. And, you know, I just, maybe I should do some research on cycle and behavior and stuff like that. Maybe I can find them that way. I don't know. But, yeah. Beaver. Anyway, I'm getting out of here. I didn't bring any anything with me so I'm getting real thirsty and figure it's time to go back made some new discoveries out here and uh, you know it's always an enjoyable experience saw some deer 
found out two of my go-to places are kind of under lockdown. Trails are closed. So, and then one of my third spots, I'm just going to have to be more on my toes about it. Part of what I've discovered. So, anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. And, yep, on my way out. We'll talk later. So there you have it. That's a typical work week for me. And into the weekend, I went to the Cherry Creek Reservoir. And today, Sunday, today I'm just going to relax and, you know, kind of hang out. Maybe see some more of the van dwellers around town that I... I typically hang out with and you know normally I, this would be the day that I do my laundry I would go in do my laundry on a Sunday get ready for another work day on Monday um, for the weeks that I don't have to work the weekend um, or I'd be out camping or hiking or you know and that's something I plan on getting back into um, you know, as soon as the van is all fixed up, I get her back in the shop tomorrow. Uh, but as soon as the van is all fixed up, I'm going to be getting back up into those Colorado mountains and, you know, doing some hiking and camping. And, you know, hopefully this year I'm going to hit some 14ers and, and, you know, do some videos on some 14ers here in Colorado. Um, I have done a few and, you know, it's an enjoyable experience. Uh, exerting experience but it's an enjoyable experience nonetheless and i can't wait to get back out there so so that's basically what i do when i'm in the city i you know pick up work uh doing landscape construction i do a lot of demo work and then you know prep and build for for the project at hand and you know that i move on to the next one um but anyway i hope you enjoyed these videos please like and subscribe and stay tuned and you know keep an eye out i'm going to be doing some hiking camping colorado uh, hopefully places i've not been i have done several videos and there's a lot more to come so um just stay tuned and we will talk later have a good one guys